All right, we're back to hunt the other $200 in nickels that we had. And this is what we have so far for silver for the year. Hopefully we can add a nickel or two to that maybe today. Um, we're going to do this box first. Um, not a lot of old looking enders in it. This one had a whole bunch of old looking enders in it. So um, hopefully we have uh, some older keepers, um, maybe some key dates, buffaloes. V nickel is always nice, um, and of course silver. Anyway, we'll uh, get through the first ten rolls and come back and show you what we find. We're through the first ten rolls, and we have a 1955 Denver, a 1957 Denver, and we found the 1979 proof nickel. It's got a lot of luster. You can see it's got some scratches in there. It's in circulation a little bit so that's pretty cool we'll pull that out and save it from any more scratches now we'll get back to the hunt get through the next 10 and come back and show you what we find all right we're through 20 rolls and we're going to add to the finds a 1949 philadelphia and a 1959 denver that gives us five coins for the find for the hunt for now so get back to the hunt bring it back after 10 more rolls. All right, so we had 20 hunted, hunted. We hunted 10 more, there was zero in that. So that was 30. We hunted 10 more. Roll 39, we found a 1941 Philadelphia. So there was one in that next 10. So that gave us five total for the hunt in their first 40 rolls six total one two three four five six total and then uh, in the last 10 rolls we're going to add a 39 philadelphia uh, there is no double die reverse got a 40 philadelphia another 41 philadelphia 53 denver 58 denver and 2009 denver so we'll get those added up here to the top uh, we'll get this next box scooted over here in front of us, and we'll start the hunt. All right, we're through the first 10 rolls, and we're going to add to the fines a 48 Philadelphia, a 46 Denver, 54 Philadelphia, and a 58 Denver. So we'll get these added uh, up here with the rest of them, and uh, get through 10 more, and then come back and show you what we find. All right, we're through 20 rolls in this box, 70 total. And we're going to add to the finds a 58 Denver and a 1986 Canadian. We'll get through the next 10 rolls and bring them back and show what we find. All right, 30 in this box down, 80 total so far. And we're going to add to the finds a 41 Philadelphia, a 51 Denver, and a 56 Denver. Get them added to the top, get back to the hunt, and come back after 10 more rolls and show you what we have. We're now through 40 rolls in this box, 90 total. And we're going to add to the finds a 41 Philadelphia, 46 Philadelphia, 47 Denver, 55 Denver, 56 Denver, and 59 Denver. So we'll get through these last 10 rolls and come back and show you what we find. All right, box empty, so that's 100 rolls down. And we're going to add to the fines 41 Philadelphia, 41 Denver, 46 Philadelphia, 47 Philadelphia, 52 Denver, 53 Denver, 57 Philadelphia, 58 Denver, 59 Denver, 59 Philadelphia, and a 1985 Canadian. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. It's 11 coins in the last 10 rolls. That's almost as many coins as we found in that whole first box. Um, get these added up here with the rest of them, and we'll come back with a wrap-up. All right, we're back for a wrap-up. And we got a 1939 Philadelphia, a 40 Philadelphia, four 51 Philadelphias, a 41 Denver, 46 Denver, two 46 Philadelphias, a 47 Philadelphia, 47 Denver, 48 Philadelphia, 49 Philadelphia, 52 Denver, 253 Denvers, a 54 Philadelphia, 255 Denvers, 256 Denvers, 
A57 Denver, A57 Philadelphia, 458 Denvers, 359 Denvers, A59 Philadelphia, uh, 2009 Denver. We have two Canadian coins, a 1985 and a 1986. And then we have our 1951 D, which is 20 and a half million minted. And then down here, I didn't kind of. I looked up the 1979 San Francisco mint, and I found there's a Type One and a Type Two. So I had to look up to see what the Type One versus Type Two. The Type One says it's a filled S that you can hardly read. And so I'm thinking that's probably the type one. I have proof condition, you know, proof 65 condition. This would be worth about $4. Um, so we know it's not in proof condition. I'm, I don't even know what it's worth in its state right now, but I think I consider that the find of the box. It's uh, hard to find proof coins. But that's going to share a coin of the box with it as well. So those are the finds of the box there. Anyway, we'd like to thank you for watching. If you have subscribed, we'd appreciate your subscription. We'll always appreciate a thumbs up. And then if you leave a comment, we'll answer you within a day or two. Thank you for watching.